visit Tongva Park in Santa Monica, which if you were to look into Google Earth, you would notice that the data imagery has not yet been updated for this development. Likewise, many places and sites that cartographers, environmental designers, and planners are trying to represent need to convey a different story than existing conditions. In a constantly changing world where spatial data is always in flux, you must be prepared to use multiple geoanalysis tools. My name is Jessica White, and every day I interact with the geo and spatial. Whether observing and recording changes to a site or updating maps used by the public, geographic analysis requires a range of techniques such as topological, geometric, or geographic properties. Combining ArcGIS and Google Earth provide the opportunity of sharing data, updating or visualizing existing or potential site conditions, and a greater ability to present spatial visualizations to a wide audience with no programming skills required. ArcGIS is the industry standard for working with geographic information, whether that be for data creation, management, or analysis. It is a powerful tool that displays and allows for the sharing of data visually. GIS is used for interpretations of patterns and trends in data, visualizations of design, or management of pre-existing data sets, same with few applications. Google Earth is a free mapping software that is publicly available and easy to use. Its accessibility, depth of imagery, and functionality have changed the way that many people look at the world around them. One great feature of Google Earth is that you can either create or export your own data to overlay on top of it in the form of KML. Using ArcGIS and Google Earth in conjunction allows for a faster, visually enhanced geoanalysis and civic engagement combination. In this course, we'll be working with geographic data using ArcGIS and Google Earth in concert. Within ArcGIS, you will look at some aspects of data analysis, such as joins, queries, and exporting data to KML. We will then look at Google Earth and some examples of its current applications and planning, overlaying KML data, and creating tours. Coming full circle, we will learn how to export Google KML data into a format understood by ArcGIS, learn how to overlay images onto Google Earth, and finally, how to use Google Earth imagery in ArcGIS and other applications. So, if you have a basic understanding of GIS, want to review the functionality of Google Earth, and are ready to bridge data between the two, then let's get started.